Okay, when I first saw the boat, uh, I saw it up in Urbana, Remlick, and I had given him a couple options of what he can do. You know, I said, well, one, you can probably burn the boat. Uh, you know, the bottom was in really bad shape. I've messed with uh, boats for many years, old boats, and I know I can put them back. I can build them a new boat. I also suggested, you know, from top to bottom. It was, she was in bad shape, had a big hump in the bottom. All of the frames were pretty much broken over the years and wasn't holding her shape. And the plywood, of course, the bottom was very compromised. It's old. It started to delaminate, which is, you know, pretty typical for a boat that was built in 1954. So when he first came to me, I replaced all the uh, frames and got the bump out of the bottom in the cockpit, and then later on did it up forward, replaced them with new frames, refastened it. But subsequent to that, uh, he hit something out in the river, poked a hole in the bottom, and realized at the time that the bottom was very, very bad. So last year he came back and uh, put a new uh, okume, which is an African mahogany plywood bottom, and epoxy dent. He's probably spent more money on it than you know most people would definitely you know want to put into a boat like that. But again, how can you replace that uh, that memory? You know that 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 sentimental attachment. It's always been kept in a boathouse, and that's why it's still with us today. It has never been perfect. Um, it's always been a boat that was used for a family boat. But uh, her mahogany top was what made me save her. She's a mahogany plank top, and that's what's beautiful about her. And she has a lot of memories tied up in her. Uh, that's the other reason I saved her. It's a collective uh, set of memories. I didn't want someone else's old wooden boat. I wanted this one, um, because this is the boat I've grown up with, and I was in my second year of college when we bought it. This boat is a four-generation family boat. My grandchildren are sharing it with me now. And it started with me and my father, and it saw me through adolescence and young adulthood, and then it took on my children, and now it's going to tackle my grandchildren. <laughs>